This video is going over Exodus. The new update to Exodus, the 1.45 update, has an exciting new feature that I think you're going to love. If you use Exodus, this is really awesome. So what they've added is the ability to add the ERC20 tokens from Ethereum. You're going to need to update. So if you use Exodus, you're going to love this new update. If you go to exodus.io, I'll put the links in the description, but it's the 1.45.0 update. And what they've added, okay, go to settings, scroll to the bottom and it'll say Ethereum assets. So they've went and added a large group of Ethereum assets. They don't have all of them, but they'll be adding more. They're going to add a new feature in the future where you can um, add custom tokens right on the wallet. But right now it's really cool. It's going to make it easy to save these tokens. I can see they have Denton here. They have the Binance coin. There's a lot of tokens that I've talked about in some previous videos. There's the Kin coin, which I will be talking about in the future, which I like because it has some iOS capabilities. So you can incorporate it into some apps for the iOS phone, for the iPhones. So that's really exciting. And it'll give some new uses for the tokens. They have Tron in here, which a lot of people, you know, either love or hate it. But this is a new feature and it's really great. So you can come in here. And what you do, if you want to add one of these to your wallet, just select one. So I've added Dent earlier. So let's add Kin and just click the circle below it. Go over to Wallet and it'll show up over here on the left. And then you can see you have your um, how many tokens you have. And you can send and receive like you can with any other coin or token. Um, these tokens do not work with the exchange, so you can't go to the exchange part of the wallet and exchange them for other tokens, but you can save them, you can send them and store them. So that's a really cool feature. I'm glad Exodus added that. Thank you, Exodus. And if you use Exodus, then you're gonna love this. It's also available in Exodus Eden. So if you use Eden, it's available in both of them. So just update to the latest version and you have the features of that update. But yeah, there's a, a link that I will put in the description that's gonna show you how to receive unsupported ERC-20 tokens. So if you, if you have a token you want to send there that you don't see in the list that's available, just go to this tutorial and it'll help you hopefully get that straightened out so you can send them to the wallet also. So what are these ERC-20 tokens? But they call them tokens because they're built on top of another blockchain. Coins have their own blockchain. Tokens are built on top of a blockchain. So all these ERC-20 tokens are built on the Ethereum blockchain. They cost Ethereum to use, so if you're going to have these in the Exodus wallet, you will need a little bit of Ethereum in the Exodus wallet also to send them. So make sure you do have some Ethereum in there. Um, Exodus recommends 0.01 Ethereum, but you know just have some Ethereum in there because they're built on the Ethereum network, and anytime you send them, it's going to cost some Ethereum to do that. If you want to see a list of the tokens, you can come to coinmarketcap.com. Go to tokens and click top 100 and you can see under platform it'll say ethereum next to eos ethereum next to vchain tron but tether is on the omni blockchain the binance coin is a token on the ethereum blockchain so they all run on ethereum so that's another reason you know ethereum is a good coin it has a lot of value there's a lot of use for ethereum unfortunately the majority of the uses for it have been just to create other coins, which it's not a real use, really, if you think about it. We need to come up with more uses, utilities, so people can use the coins. I think 2018 gaming is going to be huge. Um, using these cryptocurrencies within games will be a big thing. And then being able to take that cryptocurrency and exchange it for dollars. And, um, you know, it makes it real and makes it real cool. <laughs> So that's the Ethereum token. That's these ERC20 tokens. But just a quick update, just found this update today and I want to let you know about it so you can go and um, hopefully send some tokens there because I know I'm about to. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.